excited. If you guys want to shop along, you can go to jamierayvintage.com. Click Saturday Thrift Haul. It's all listed. You don't have to comment. You just go to the website. It's there. Caitlin is on here answering questions um, as well as dropping links. And I wanted to remind you guys, if you have an Android or an Apple phone, we have a Jamie Ray Vintage app. Yep. And if you download that and allow notifications, you'll get a push notification when the thrift haul goes live. And we're going to start adding two more notifications. One's going to be um, once a week when we add sale items and once a week when we add new items. So another reason to get the Jamie Ray Vintage app. All right, yep. there's the whole commercial. Commercial over. We're going to get started because it's a big mega haul. Oh, man, is it. <laughs> it's so it's a much, mega mega. So many thrifted things because we went to the first thrift store and we're like, well, we got a lot of big stuff. And then we went to the second thrift store and we're like, well, we got a lot more big stuff. And we found a bunch of little stuff on the way. Uh, but <clears throat> at the second thrift store, we, we each found something big. And who has already painted what she bought? Oh. Who has not painted what he bought? What did I find that was big? A giant mirror. Oh, yes. It's not even listed. I don't even see it out here. No, I don't think we listed it. Yeah, we'll get so. to that. It needs some repair. All right, Thrift Hall. All right, yeah, let's this, go. Uh, this finial architectural detail, it's fiberglass. Looks like it's been dropped. Got a chip here. We're going to put some glue in that, salt wash it. It was $5. I feel like I overpaid a little since it's broken. I got to start being like, We're hey, this is it. broken, guys. How much is this really? Um, but five dollars, and once we're all done, it'll be sixty nine ninety five. It's gonna be cool. It's big. It's like an artichoke. It's a finial. I do one of the things like my pro tip for fixing things like this is we'll make sure that the crack is glued. But this big hole right here, you can fill it with um, wood glue and the IOD air dry clay, or we have also used hot glue. And it's got a big chunk up here. Like we'll salt wash this up You'll and do never some know. stuff. You won't see it. It'll be super sturdy. It'll look like cement. Like if you guys watched our shop tour last week, we painted paper mache and it looks like <clears throat> a cement pillar. So you totally can make things look like cement. All right. Um, let's see. Nobody has questions. Okay. These okay. are one of the cooler items of the haul. They were $10 each. They are cast iron. The base is like a solid piece of steel. And then the feet are also cast iron. Um, we got them. Um, oh, I already said 10, $10 bucks a piece. $10 a piece. Sorry, I thought Painted. I believe we're painting these, right? Yes. That's a hard yes. Um, $189.95. They're big. They're sturdy. Weapon grade for sure. If you can even pick them up and swing them. <laughs> um, when we sell lamps, 99% of the time, if we're going to ship them, we sell them without lampshades because lampshades increase so much bulk when shipping. Yes. And sometimes they'll double the cost to ship. These and nine times are heavy, at a but time. we can like kind of put them like this on top of each other with bubble wrap and some cardboard and they won't take up as much space, but two lampshades and you need like a giant coffin box. Well, and quite often people are like, I don't like that lampshade anyway. They already yeah, have they something that else that they want in mind. I've got like, we, we were going over the thrift hall and most of this stuff needs uh, painted or yeah. repaired. <laughs> so definitely gonna be painting a lot this week because Thursday afternoon, we fly out to California to go visit Debbie and Solana Beach to go over paint colors for the Jamie Ray Vintage Cottage Color Line. And so we've got to get all of this stuff painted. We have to pre-record next week's thrift haul. Don't worry. I'm sure there'll be li like an extra live that happens while we're there. But we will have our regular thrift haul pre-recorded. I'll bring my and... laptop and we'll go. We'll see if we can stream all the places oh, at the same fun. time well and but I, I gotta help debbie fix her internet yeah it's on our list we have a list of things to help debbie with um <laughs> and we're also going to kobe's swapping i'm excited about that yes. i'm actually going to film going to kobe's and i will edit that video on site so we can get that up next friday while we're gone this is like a giant floor de lee type thing it's a dark navy we're going to brighten it up bring that navy back through um, definitely painting this. I've got some tarnished pearl out tonight. That's going to be the uh, color of the evening because I've got a bunch of frames that I'm going to paint up and put some of our fun new uh, art, we'll call it, that Did we've been working on. Did you print out some to actually put in here? Um, I don't have any of the big ones, but we've got several smaller ones that I have stuff that'll fit in. So Zeb bought, in case you didn't know, Zeb bought this big fancy new printer. He's actually already ran out of <clears throat> one color of ink that we need to purchase. Uh, but we're um, going to be doing like, uh, archival quality prints and then framing them. And so rather than buying new frames, we're going to thrift them because that's how we do. 
Well, let's just talk about this so giant this is fleur five dollars um and it's going to be 79.95 somebody painted it navy blue if but i think you, this needs at least two paint colors some gold wax and some dark wax maybe at least maybe. it'll be cool i like that one but it's very big jamie's like i had it in my cart and jamie's like what on earth are you gonna do with that i'm like i'm gonna paint it like we do with all the stuff <laughs> all right this is a tiny, small little item. It's flat on the back. It stands on its own if you want it to, but could be a great little wall pocket. Someone already swiped at it with some paint. It's a little streaky. They didn't They didn't finish. They used like some craft paint. They gave it a good college try. And honestly, up against a wall, it probably wouldn't look that bad. But we're going to give it a better paint job, um, and it's going to be super cute. All right, so. Uh, I, oh, it was a dollar, and it's no. going to be $14.95 after we paint it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to empty her, her cash and we're going to test the speed. And if the speed's not what she should be getting for what she's paying, we're going to call up I mean, the she's in the company. middle of town. She's got to have fiber yeah. or at least a gig service because there are some pretty high end shops right next to her. And Debbie's shop is as cute as all of their shops, but her Internet isn't great. And we're I'm sure that they're that. running hot Internet at some of those shops. Um, all right. Just making sure everybody's good. All right, keep going. Let's show them the piggies. Show Every, them the piggies. So we we showed this thrift haul, what was it, Monday, Tuesday? Monday? I can't remember what day the video actually Monday, got and we have had so many messages. On, it's funny because I thought this thrift haul was kind of janky because it really doesn't flow. It's eclectic. But people have, I, we've gotten more emails and messages on people wanting to pre-buy stuff, which we don't do. You have to buy it at the thrift haul to keep things fair. And these pigs have been uh, requested. I'm actually planning on removing the raffia and the sunflower just because I think it would be cuter, more simplified. I'll do it neatly. So if somebody does want it, I can just include it. But so, I want to remove the hot glue because sometimes people don't have a heat gun to do that. Look how go. cute that pig is. You can see is. that. They're, they're made to hang over the edge of a shelf. Um, this one was a dollar. <laughs> it's going to be fourteen ninety. Cooper says, hello, my fellow junkaholics. Cooper, are you a junkaholic <laughs> as well? Yeah, I think he is. I think he he's does really like to go thrifting. Um, all he did was laugh at the Disney thrift store. Him and Eliza running around laughing at all the weird <laughs> stuff. Um, oh, I don't know why I'm, this was the floral actually had this weird ribbon on it and a ruffle lace, but more like 1980. So that's already gone. I took care of that before I listed it. Look at that. Hanging it's kind over of, the edge. it's kind of blurry. You want to tap the screen? There you so go. this is actually, uh, like there's a designer that does these. I think the name of, maybe it fell off, but she's like an Etsy seller. Oh, the tag fell off. No, just the floral one. Oh. The floral one's a handmade one. Oh, that one has already sold. So that one is also $14.95. We paid a dollar for both that of these. That one. I don't think that the other pig has sold yet, but that You're not sold. painting these, are you? You're just what? taking this raffia off? Yes, I'm just taking it off. Okay, I'm going to leave them back here in the, the small do not paint section. Ooh, Christy just bought the piggy. All right, we found this tiny little, it's, it's, so it's like a hand-carved wooden bunny. It was 75 cents. We're going to sell it for $8.95. It's got like this little rope thing around it. I don't know. You, we'll, we'll let you decide on that. Needs some cleaning. It's got like some crayon gonna over here. We're just going to magic eraser it a little bit, clean it up, but I'm not going to paint it because it's so cute. Let me see if I hold it in front of my face. Does it focus? <laughs> hey, Maybe. Jamie, how come no messy bun anymore? Karen, are you missing the messy bun? Because her I, hair has gotten so long. <laughs> it, it, okay, so here's the thing. I My hair's gotten long, and so I can put it on top of my head. But if I wear it by the end of the day, I have a really sore head and a headache. Um, and so sometimes I'll put it up if I'm in a hurry and I know that I don't have to, like, go all day, if that makes sense. But I, we've been so busy that I'm like, I can't do a messy bun in the morning because in the middle of the day I got to pull it out. And Cooper and Odelia are on here. They can tell you when I pull out my messy bun, as I could tell you, it is like it gets huge, <laughs> huge. And my hair is um, heavy enough that I could just like today. I just let it mostly air dry. I have this blow dryer brush thing that I did for like two minutes, but I just let it air dry. So maybe next week I'll throw it up in messy bun just for the live video. Um, I'm not going to be doing any messy buns in the near future. <laughs> I've just been kind of <laughs> playing it fast and loose over here. We'll see what happens. It was funny. But who were we talking to about hair? um jordan jordan our our so we we traded in the jeep this week the jeep was great so we won't tell them what we got 
I, if you watch our thrifting video on Monday, when you see the interior of the new car, you'll have to guess what we got. But our salesman was like talking about. And how if hard you're in business just, coaching, you'll know why we get a new one every year. Tax write off. But um, <laughs> the guy, the salesman was talking about his hair and Zeb's like, I don't have to worry about that. And I guess he hadn't seen Zeb take his hat off because Zeb took his hat off. He's like, <gasps> he's like, oh. All right, so I'm really digging this dish. I've not heard of this brand before, Saparna. I don't know how you say that, um, but love the glaze on it. I love the ruffled edge. That's my favorite. Yes. Like anything with a ruffled it's edge. It's just a great little that. dish for beside the sink, or, you know, you can put some little candies in there, or potpourri, whatever you want. It potpourri. was a dollar. We're selling it for $13.95. Or some cashews. Cashews are my friend. That's my favorite. My current favorite nut right now, that or pistachio. We shared a video about an old um, woman and a man that were married, and they were so excited they were getting some money from this guy that makes videos. And they're like, you could buy cashews. You could buy all the prunes you want. It's just funny because I love prunes and Zeb loves cashews. Yeah, we so. laughed pretty hard about that. All right, so we have. I'm going to go through all the frames quick. I'm going to be doing new art in this. I will save the art in out of here because it's kind of fun. It's not really our style. It's kind of farmhouse circa 1998. Here, let's do this one because they're all going to get painted in new art. So now you we see, don't have to say you that. You see what I'm saying again. about that art? Can you focus that, Jamie? Um, yeah, it's focused. The pig okay. is cute. The but... pig's not bad, but the pig with the pink and the red and the blue and the gold and the and the natural wood. It needs an update. So you it's going to be getting some new art. Called, they want it back. This was $3. Once I put the new art in there, we're going to do $22.95. I'm going to, at the end of the video, I'm going to try mm -hmm. to have enough time to slap a bunch of paint on here, distress them, and try to finish a couple of these that are smaller. So well, that you we better get going. can see some stuff. So all the ones this size are going to be $29.95. And we have, I think, four of them. Um, yeah, I got, so I got these specific to take the max, well, not the max size, but a larger size I, I can print paid. out of my new printer. And then I ran out of ink and fun fact, these new fancy printers, if you run out of, it has 12 different ink You can't colors. just shake the cartridge. But I did. I tried that. But if it had, it runs out of ink, then none of the prints work. So I'm waiting on ink now because couldn't find it local. So these, are, these cost us anywhere from $1.50 to $3.00. I mean, a lot of them are brand new, never used. Like people bought them this and never used them. new in the package. Um, but we will paint all the frames and then put some nice archival quality art inside of them and they'll be $29.95. <clears throat> so we're going to wind up. What I'm seeing as far as the design world goes, a lot of people, now I will never give up a good sign because you know me, I love good sign. But a lot of people are going away from just like the plain farmhouse signage and they're looking at art. And so... We think art is timeless, so we're gonna try to like get some. So we have quality art we have some. I, my new printer prints on canvas. We have not scanned this yet. This so. hasn't been scanned, but this is now we've done the research. It's public domain, so we can license it for commercial use, and we're gonna do that one. But that's what she's talking about. You can see the art over there on the wall. Um, we, you don't really see any signs. We do them for holidays and things. We do the signs for holidays and specific stuff. And we have one giant sign that you hand painted that I'm never getting rid of. All right. Oh, so this one is scripture. brand new. It was a dollar. It would have been $16 just like this at Hobby Lobby. Um, and we're selling it for $19.95. We're going to paint the frame and we're going to put some art in it. I actually think this is the one you should do because it's going to be the easiest one to do on the video. I'll yeah, I might. I might. Um, that or the pig one because I have something that will fit in there easy. So I got these boxes with either IOD or some of our new new papers that we're going to be coming out with in mind. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. This one's going to be $12.95 with the art. And then this one will be twenty two ninety five. It's quite a bit larger. And We've I can't. Been making a lot of fun signs. I really want to use the champagne uh, stamp. You know, oh, the, yes. With the rooster on it. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of like art done with that. So I think that'd be fun. So I want to do kind of like with this one, I wanted to do more of like old, like crusty, like really crusty it up and then put whatever on there. So I'm we'll see. Um, but that's. That's what I've been focusing on thrifting lately is all these frames and stuff. You know I love crusty. All right, tell them what you're going to do with this, and I'm going to grab the other one that we're going to do something similar with so we can talk about it. So this time. was a Lazy Susan, but half of the Lazy was missing. It was broken. <laughs> um, so now we just have this plastic thing. I'm going to pull these screws out. I will fill those with probably resin. 
Um, I'll do a die. I'll die resin because it's a nice enough board and it's got these fun slats in there to keep it from bowing. That's why they do these cross slats and old like antique cutting boards. They kept the wood from like bowing. Um, but we're going to do a big cutting board out of this. Um, it will be, where'd my price go? Uh, it was $4 and it's going to be $42.95 when I'm done doing those couple Yeah, we're going to completely sand it down. We're going to do a food safe stain and an oil and make it look like less modern and more rustic. Same thing with this round. I'm guessing this was for uh, Corbin and Chloe. It was probably their wedding cake plate. Oh, yes, probably. Um, and we're just going to sand that all the way down. And then we will do a food safe stain and oil on this as well. And we're going to make it look kind of rustic. So I might like beat it up a little bit and try to make it look like an old French country the price um, cutting board. Same thing with the other one. So if you want a pristine cutting board, these are not it. We're going to try to make them look old. Did you peel the price off this? I had a price on it. I remember pricing it. It was $29.95. $2 and going to be $29.95. There you go. I was, I just, I'm 99.9% .9 sure. Cause somebody already bought it. Yeah. 29.95. In so. the theme of signs, this actually, the back comes out. So you could switch this up and have it say whatever you want. It's a little bent. I have a plan to unbend it and I will Are you unbend heat it. Up with it. The heat gun? Uh, not, not the heat gun. I'll probably use a torch and actually just kind of, cause metal warm, like it bends rather than breaks. It helps it. Cause when it's cold, it's very, uh, um, rigid. But this is going to be another one of those fun things. I'll probably just put a little piece of art in here. And we'll paint it cute. And on that note, I also found this mirror that stands. I don't know why. I was finding all the standing things. It was $2. We're not selling this. It's got a big and a small. It's got like a magnified side. Um, I'm not going to paint or do anything with this. I just thought it was good. It's like a stainless steel. Well, we good have quality. that cute vanity at the shop that hasn't sold. So I thought I'd oh, put it on that. There you go. So it's going to be $12.95. But I. These always come loose, and the reason this one attracted me is because it's got these good knurled knobs that you can really what are tighten they called? it. Knurled, K N U R L E D. Okay. Did you have to look that up, or did you already know that nerdy little fact? I know way too many nerdy little facts. <laughs> <laughs> so when I was growing up, fun fact: I'll, we'll keep we'll keep showing stuff. But when I was growing up, my mom was like who I would go to, and she did give me some information to correct. She'd give me a lot of information that wasn't correct. But when I got married, I went from asking all my questions to my mom to Zeb. And sometimes he just, when we were first married, before the internet was real popular, he'd like appease me, would just tell me whatever. But now- I never gave you bad information. Oh, it wasn't. What? Name, I don't, name an I example. I can't remember 21 years ago. Name an example. I'm, I'm just saying. Cite your You source. know a lot of facts. A little factoids. I so. do. Jack and I. We're the fact guys. Jack, Jack knows oh all the stuff about whatever he's learning about at school. He does love and it. And he comes home and he asks Alexa and she tells him all the things. <laughs> um, so this this is like, uh, I want to say, I think it's stainless. Aluminum is what it looks like to me. I think it's actually stainless steel that's like brushed. It looks like brushed aluminum. I don't think it's aluminum. It's tin or metal or something. But it was only $2. Someone gave it a little snoot of spray paint. They're like, oh, that was hard. Or maybe they ran out. Maybe they're painting a bunch of candlesticks and they ran out of spray paint. And they're like, or forget like it. I'm not buying another can. Or the door or the phone rang something. Anyway, or they were spraying something else and they met. We're going to finish painting. It'll be fourteen ninety five. Or they might have been spraying a room for their wife and didn't tarp everything and just made a big fat mess i don't remember seeing okay. these on the listing caitlin i don't these don't have a price they you know might what? go I might on next them. week they were they're a dollar fifty each um we'll, we'll we'll a little you know little sneak preview. peek for next week yeah i'll double check but i don't think those are on there all right the next two items everybody's I'm talking about all the eggs in our basket are you guys jealous so it was warm and if we get a warm day, we get like a ton of eggs. <laughs> if it's cold, we get like three eggs out of 25 birds. If it's warm, we get enough. like 15 eggs. I need to do a lot of baking. We're going to do some that's freeze. Not, that's like We're going to freeze them. dry some eggs this week. I got to wash some. We've got a neighbor that brought us an yeah. 18 carton of eggs. And I need, I, I've been a week waiting to get enough eggs to fill it up for him. Because I always tell them, I'm like, if it's cold, I can't, like, we're going to eat, eat the eggs. And if I have extra, then I'll bring them to you. Well, he has five grandkids that live with him and their parents. And so we always give them eggs. But yeah, no, we do have a lot of eggs. But, and he, he always exchanges freeze-dried bananas. You guys, he, he always, his timing is great. He always comes while we're right in the middle of a live stream. So that's, that's the gentleman that uh, I'm talking about. He's, All right, so let's show him this next thing. Okay, this, where'd the price tag go? It's on this one. 
No, it's already it was, a chippy white. I think it was two dollars. I paid two bucks for this, and it's twenty eight ninety five. We're so gonna this, wash it up. Yeah, we're gonna clean it up, but the paint finish is good. But what what is it made of? Is this wrought iron? So this is wrought iron, and then this is actually cast iron up nice. top here. I like them. It's a very weapon grade situation. So we had somebody have a question. They said, "Don't eggs have to be refrigerated?" We have a video on our homestead channel about that. These eggs are actually unwashed, so. Yes, there's a little bit of straw and some other remnants of some we won't tell you what's things, still on them. but we leave our eggs out. They have a bloom on them. But if you want to really know all the nitty gritty about like homestead eggs, we've got a short on the Jamie and Zeb channel um, all about eggs and how to wash them and check if they've gone bad, if your hen's been hiding them. So most of your eggs, when you get them at the store, are probably about three weeks old already before you ever even get them. And the bloom has been washed off and they've been bleached and everything. These are fresh eggs. We don't wash them till we're ready to eat them. And so they don't have to be refrigerated. Fun fact, if you go to England or France, Their eggs are just um, they out. just have eggs out because they don't wash the bloom off. Their eggs aren't poopy because they have you know, different situations. They change the straw more often, I guess, and there's just no poop on yeah, them. Yeah, I'm a slacker. But uh, they don't refrigerate their eggs. So there you go. Okay. This, if it seems like we're rushing, it's because we still have like 40 things to show you. Yeah, we're going to keep moving <laughs> along. So Zeb, there's Zeb's little marriage this week. So the base, I love the base. I actually was like, what can we put on there? A little pedestal or something. And then Jamie actually found this. It's got some fun like peaches in there, I believe. But little damage over here. We're gonna have to fix that and paint it up. And we'll I don't know. Are you gonna paint that or are you gonna leave that alone? Okay, yeah, she's gonna paint it. We have to paint it to make it match. Once we make it match, no, are we gonna great. glue it or are you gonna put a little like screw and nut situation? I am going to epoxy this. So epoxy. a two part a two part epoxy just it works a lot like the resin. But I think that's going to be it's super so cute. strong. I think it'd be really cute. And like on your counter, you could put your bananas in it and then you could put your other fruit down below. I contemplated or... doing something like this, like a big old base. And then have that be the pedestal. And then we could do something like that. But what's the what's the purpose of this unless you're if doing weddings? If it was weddings. for like a wedding cake. Yeah, I was going to say, unless you're like doing weddings and things. But these are separate. This was $1.50. This was $1.50. Put together and and repaired and painted it's going to be 28.95 and epoxied all right i'm just going to see if there's any questions kathy says we need to go back to how we used to do things like your eggs we love having chickens we did a video talking about how not actually cheap they are but we do feed them our like when we clean out our fridge on a weekly basis like nothing gets wasted because we take it to the chickens before it goes bad and they will eat it all up so all right, show them our Canadian seashells. So these are seashells. We actually don't know where they came from. So, um, some of them have been kind of beat up, but there's some really good usable pieces in here, especially if you do like jewelry or mosaics and things. Um, but the jar is actually cool itself. I think it's a little older because it's like a square shape. Um, and it's, I don't think it is. I saw like the place where you could still oh, buy them. Are they still making them mm -hmm. new like this? They were like five bucks just for the jar. Anyway, it's Canadian mason jar made in Canada, stamped right on it here. Um, it was a dollar fifty. It comes with a bunch of seashells. And it's going to be sixteen ninety five with the seashells. You get the shells. Basically, you're paying sixteen ninety five for seashells, and the glass jar is free with purchase. So Jamie's mom came out here and she always, before we go live, once we get it set up, she always looks over all the stuff, sees if there's anything she can't live without because she knows she can pull the mom card and be like, I want that. She rare, <laughs> she rarely does because she doesn't really, she doesn't, she, she she's has not her a own, collector she, of things. She's she not, has she's her kind own of a, room. Yeah, but, she's a minimalist. But she, she spends a lot of time like going through her stuff like every day and like, do I really need this? Like she's not sentimental at all. Like she was going through some of dad's stuff after he passed. I'm like, Hey, I want that. <laughs> Cause, it, Cause it was going. <laughs> well, you know, people think because of what we do for a living, then we must be hoarders. But honestly, yes, I do have a hoard for the shop, but my house, I don't, I don't keep that much stuff because I have everything at the shop. So if I want to redecorate, I just rotate. But she saw this and she said, Oh, Jack would love that. And I would have to correct him every time he read, read it because he would read it wrong. <laughs> But this was a dollar. I, I don't know. Did we pay a 50 cents or a dollar? 50 cents. And I didn't think you were going to think this was funny, but Maria, she at, works for us um, at the shop and she ships a lot. Maria thought it was hilarious. Um, so anyway, there's fun little joke of the night for you. 
Yeah. We're I love that the bull it. is in a box. It says world's best bull shipper. Greatest. Greatest bull shipper. We actually bought a ton of statues like that, and we have sold all but the world's greatest mother. You can still pick that up on the website as well, and Mother's Day is coming. But I think the world's greatest bull shipper would actually be great for Father's Day because most dads would think that was hilarious. All right, so we've pulled a bunch of stuff out. We got... Um, Caitlin says, Ivy showed her yesterday when she was putting stuff on the back end of the website, and they laughed. I mean, Ivy ships a lot, too. She's my shipping manager, so her and Caitlin had a good laugh. All right, show my little sheepy. Okay, this sheep is on wheels. It's and so cute. <laughs> we, between this and this item, we probably got 20, 25 messages of people wanting it to buy it before Both of them have the live sold. stream. Both are gone now because people were waiting and watching for it. I told people, I'm like, this is when they're going to go live. I can't pre-sell them because I've gotten too many messages. Plus, I, I feel like it's more fair not to pre-sell. There's one of these wheels that's loose. This one. I do need to throw some glue in there before we send it off. But if it will, it still I'm, spin? Yeah. Oh, because it spins make, independently. It's got of like those. a little oh, okay. nail, almost like a Pinewood Derby car in there. Yeah. If you just put super glue, it'll be fine. So That's that cute. was 75 cents. We're selling it for $12.95. Um, this. We were going to paint it, but everybody's like, don't paint it. Nobody that. wanted this painted. Um, but it's so popular. Like, like, do we need to make these? Do we? I, yeah, I'm wondering if we need to make them because. Tons Listen, of I'm not gonna sit here with wire and figure out that sign in the middle. But this um, was a dollar fifty, and we sold it for twenty eight ninety five. It's already gone. It went fast. We got a ton of messages about it. People were like, "Don't paint it. I want it as is." I don't know if the person that got it wants it as is because we were planning on painting it. So hopefully they message soon. Don't and let change us know. the pig with the raffia. All right, Karen, I will not take the sunflower and the raffia off. You must have been the one who bought it. I saw your message. Noted. All right, so next up we've got this Butterbell. I actually sell these Butterbells for like $28, $26 in the shop. This one is in basically in new condition. Doesn't look like it was ever used or they just scrubbed it good. And I paid $1 for it and I'm selling it for $18.95. Um, and I'll do, I pick up these anytime I see them because we sell them new full price in the shop all the time. But if I can pick up one, thrifting and give somebody a better price for it, then I absolutely will. And I think this already sold. So somebody saw it and scooped it up. Okay. Something we don't have to paint. These are really fun kind of boho. They're pink, white, and gold knobs. There's a set of eight in them uh, in here. And uh, we paid $2. $2. We're selling them for $16.95. And I think those actually sold as New in well. the box. Just really fun knobs. You could put these on the top of like wooden lids or even use them on a dresser. Just lots of lots of options. If anybody buys hardware, like those are usually five, six dollars per knob. So I feel like it's a good deal. Yeah. Even on sale, they're gonna be like three dollars a knob. So much debate about this because Zeb had a big key clock that we both decided we didn't want to buy because we didn't want to ship it because it was like long and skinny and we just looked kind of like we would have had to charge too much for it. And everybody's like, oh I wish you would have bought it. But he put that clock back and he bought this clock. I actually everybody like this loves a lot it. More. Um, we paid five dollars and we sold it for twenty six ninety five. Love the paint finish, like not touching that. And we will make sure that it works before it leaves. Disclaimer on our clocks: it is on every listing. We make sure that they they work before they leave, and then we will box them like with cardboard and then put them in another box. But occasionally, when clocks ship, things get jostled around and you have to re put them back together. So if that happens and it's not working, we don't offer refunds. So you have to be willing to like piece it back together should you need to um, because we do our best. We make sure they work before they leave, but occasionally things happen. It does have a little scratch in the face and it's a plastic face. So I'm contemplating taking that off. No, leave it because shipping. it will ship better that way. And if it doesn't bother you, I am going to try to magic eraser it because it looks like it's just don't. Got, it just looks like it's got paint. Transfer do you remember right the one time I magic erased and what happened to the it acrylic? Made it all cloudy. Yeah, no, you just leave that the way that it is. All right. Don't. So I know. Paris, fan, France I know from previous experience. All right, let's show them another clock while we've already given our clock. This spiel. one's so fun. Zeb's gonna paint the inside and the outside and around this face. This is a clock box. You can show them how it works. It's it was five dollars and we're selling it for thirty two ninety five. It was just sitting in the thrift store like this. I'm like, wow, five bucks for this little tiny box, huh? What what's going on there? I mean, it's got some good detail and molding and things on there, but it opens up and you get this fun clock. Your mom also liked this. 
My mom loved that. I actually think it's really fun. I don't love the finish, but I think repainted, it's going to be super cute. And what it's a fun. Felt, it's felt inside here, so I might oh, leave the felt. Oh, I didn't know it's felt. felted. Yeah, don't paint the But inside. up here on the back in this part here, I might paint to match. And the face, like all of that will get painted. But the felt bottom, I'll probably leave. So I might go with like this, a neutral because it's a brown felt. This will ship well, too, because it, we won't have to double box it. No. Because it's already in a box. We'll and the face, is, the face is amazing. Yeah. Angeli Arse says, I have that box clock. Nice. And it has sold. Oh, can you fix the camera? It yeah. shrunk. Um, let's see. Kathy says, would love to see you two on HGTV doing flipping either flea market or house. Your choice. We tried that, but they didn't sign us up. So they said they actually, we actually were with a production company and they pitched us to Magnolia Network with Joanna and Chip. And all of the producers over there were like, we love them. We love their show and their concept, but it's too much like what Joanna's already doing. So they I'm didn't like, pick us look, up. Look, Joanna ain't buying no junk. Okay. Not like this. <laughs> but it's all right because we get to hang out here with you guys and it works just fine for me. All right. So this already sold. This is a necklace holder, but we actually think you could, it, I don't know if it's too short, but you might could hang like paintbrushes from it. Somebody said. Let's, let's see. We have some with handles on Where's the on new them. ones from Debbie? Here, show them this while I'm looking for it. Okay, well, I'll show them this. So while he's looking, this was, uh, how much did I pay for this? $2 and we sold it for $19.95. Not painting it. It is cast iron base with, I think, probably wrought iron and then we'll cast iron bird on top. So very well made. Okay, cute little pedestal. It's not, or maybe a cupcake, maybe a mini cake. It says, it's the little things. And it's got the little, the black stripes. It's just very, like you would see this in a bakery. So that one's too big. That one's too big. But that you could, you could just tie them shorter. You could, you could tie them much shorter. This one is perfect. Yeah. You just tie them shorter. We've so been using the heck out of these brushes. <laughs> We've been practicing with them. All right. So this already sold. This one, I don't, Caitlin, how much was? Did she drop the link on this one? The little, I don't see Zeb has having a price on that. Oh, here it is. Uh, $2 and we sold, we're going to sell it for $12.95. All right, we're going to move along here. I need to practice not saying all right because the video that I put up today, I said all right like 40 times. All right, there was a little <laughs> bit of a debate about this in the Ray household. Um, debate? This is hand painted and she signed it. And then on the inside, there's an inscription to her daughter on this little uh, recipe box. And I was like, oh, we should leave that. It's kind of it's kind of fun. Um, and I don't hate the pears. I, but the rest of it is a little too dark. Like if the pears were on a white or like a pink or something like that, I think it would be good. But um, I do agree with Jamie that it's kind of dark and dated looking. So we might. I'm not going to paint the inside because it's got a cute little yeah. um, note from someone to but their daughter. But the pears are probably gone. Daughter. And my thought is last time I did one of these, super cute, I painted it and then we decoupage the sides and then we did a little stenciled bird on there. I don't know if I can find that stencil, but I'm for sure going to uh, decoupage the sides. So it was $2. We're selling it for $28.95. It's very well made, handmade, and it's even got the little rest here on the top. So you, so you can, can put, put your, your little card, index card there and just look at it real quick and reference it. Why do you always interrupt your husband? I hate that. Oh, well, I interrupt her too, so it's okay. People just don't notice, though. Why don't people <laughs> notice, Ed? Because I'm the woman and you're the man. That's true. It's facts. We've, we've so done I'm a sorry. study on it. Like, I've purposely interrupted her and no one complains. If she interrupts me, everyone complains. True story. We, like, tested it in a video several times. Also, sometimes I think he's done talking and he's not. I'm never done talking, so she just goes. <laughs> it keeps the show going. It's fine. All right, it's, show, it's them, fine. show them the bucket. <laughs> this used to have three feet on it. It does not any longer. Oh, it's stamped Japan. Yes. And there were three little dowels in here for like a little foot. Um, it's got red velvet on the inside, or, or maybe it's just, it, oh, it's like a silk. Um, on the inside, I'm probably going to leave that because it's going to be a real pain to get that out because it looks like it's glued in. But the outside's getting touched up in new paint. You're going to have to paint it neat, though, because sometimes the paint will leak. It's my favorite thing about this is these dowels on the side are wood threaded dowels. Oh, that's cool. Maybe we shouldn't paint that. If it doesn't if it doesn't sell, I might just change the listing. Or yeah, change the listing cuz I think that's cool. Up. I love the twisted um what what would you call this? Um reed? 
Yeah, the twisted reed. Like they had oh, to this get is it. bamboo strips. Yeah, they had to get that wet to do that or mm -hmm. steam it, and it's on the top and the bottom. But very I well made. It's got screws in the, in the top. Leather. Is Not that sure. Leather? Is that vinyl? I think it's. I think it's leather. Smell no, it. it's vinyl. Okay, it's vinyl. Um, it was two bucks, and we're selling it for twenty two ninety five. It's just a fun little bag or tote, not a bag. All right, next up, we have three rolling pins. I found them. I'm such a great wife. I found them for Zeb so he could, so he could paint them. Loud. Sorry. Um, and we've been doing, these are all going to get painted, the handles and the base, and then we're going to roll it in different stamps. They've been selling like crazy, and so we're just going to keep going with some different stamp sets. They'll be nineteen ninety five. We paid a dollar, a dollar, and a dollar fifty. Um, They'll be nineteen ninety five each. Loving all the handles on these; they're all different. And this is this is like a this is a nice piece of wood here. It's like got a burl in it. Are, <coughs> are you gonna be sad to paint it? No, no. They need a drink of water. Um, this one's maple. This one's maple. I'm not sure. This one might be bird's eye maple. Because it looks maple-ish, but then it's got like all these knots. Anyway, fun, going to be great with the new uh, IOD stamps on there. This had like a white divider probably for four bottles or something. I didn't really like it. The white felt out of place. It was like a plasticky covered metal looking situation. Um, but... I like it so much better now. Yeah. Like I love that you ripped that out. Yeah, and now like it looks good with the rolling pins in it. Like it could be a utensil caddy or whatever. I mean, they might fall out the side, but you get a lot of them in there. You just keep in. stuffing them in. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> this was three dollars. I had the price tag on it. I think it's like nineteen ninety five. Oh, there it is. And the handle, if you turn it, it does come oh. off. If you don't want it with the handle, it's got like a little latch on there where you can take it off. The bull shipper statue has sold. So somebody yes. else shares my sense of humor, which I love. They've, they've um, got someone in their family that needs that. <laughs> Lori says, Zeb, stop interrupting your wife. Golly. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Thank you for that. I need the reminder because in, in all actuality, if you watch through the videos, I probably interrupt just if not more. Because you know, we're like sitting next to each other. I don't know when she's going to stop. And we, I got stuff I want to say and she's got stuff she wants to say. So it just happens. Actually, you guys don't know this, but sometimes if he's going long and I need to say something, I really do try not to interrupt him. I'll tap his knee. <laughs> you, you probably wouldn't even notice it, but it does happen. And occasionally he stops talking, but sometimes he don't. Caitlin will know exactly what I'm talking about. We, we say when I'm getting my Papa Chuck stories on, um, cause Kate, that's actually Caitlin's, uh, paternal grandfather. He has passed, but man, that guy told some long stories and sometimes I get long winded. You had like a, right you, there. <laughs> you had a grandpa just like that. Your grandpa Carling. Yes. Grandpa Carling. He told Papa Chuck stories. <laughs> All right. So these, they have like a wire frame inside of them. Got They're a rooster handmade. and a hen. They've got these reeds. They've they've brushed them with like a green dry brush. We're going to do a white dry brush so that they pop a little more because I feel like they kind of just, they're dark and they kind of just, I don't know. They, I just can't imagine. Like they wove the wire around yes. in multiple spots. Like these took a good long time to make. They're big. Um, the set is $129.95 when we're all done with it. And we paid, now don't, don't die when we tell you this. We paid $5 for the set. We could have paid probably somewhere around twenty five to thirty five for them, but I've seen they stuff. were crazy. Like oh, the deal see, was, was such a good price. There was an interrupt. She was talking. I interrupted her, <laughs> and then I talked over her the whole time to tell her, tell you that I interrupted her. I'm the worst. Anyway, <laughs> they're big. We're going to dry brush them, and they're going to require a lot of special care to ship. That's my point. So there you go. So yes. if you're mad about the price, comment below. <laughs> also, I've seen them. Will anyways. I've seen them at the thrift store for as much as like twenty bucks for one. Yeah, for sure. These are gonna be cool once we dry brush them. Oh, tell Jamie she doesn't have to paint the box. It's so cute. Which box did you did you buy a box? The box. Oh, box. the bucket. Did you buy the bucket, Remy? If that was you, then I will set that in a different. I know. Odelia says oh, $5. Yeah. The big one was three bucks and the little one wasn't priced. So we went up to the front and the manager's like two bucks. And I was like, all right. Okay. Next, um, a dollar 50 for this cute paper towel holder. We're going to give it a great paint job. We'll use a liquid sealer with it. I think so that way it holds up a little bit better. 
Um, and it's going to be 1995. It's like a, they've turned it. They've put like a little detail in the bottom. Turned up it top. almost looks like a honeybee dipper. Yes. And paper, paper but, towel but just holders. Honeys. We're not dipping the bees. True. Paper towel holders sell really well in our shop. So I was excited to find this one. Oh, oh yes, it was you. Okay, so Remy doesn't want that box with the velvet painted. Oh, the... The Japan box. Okay. Perfect. The, the round Good. box. Tote. Because I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want to paint it, so I'm glad you don't want to paint it. This is awesome. It's a really great basket. The color's good. It's got like that faded age to it. But it's got a wire frame inside and on the lid. It's very strong. Um, reinforcement, it goes through the center there. You can put... We had like half this thrift haul in this basket, all the little stuff that was breakable. I put it in the basket to store it for the week. And then the metal frame comes out and handles on the side. Super great basket. And the lid's fun. It does have one little imperfection. I tried to take a picture. It's got of a couple little that. ones. Well, yeah, but there's like a couple. This one's just like the most noticeable. We're going to sell it for $68.95. And I think it's awesome. It's like a really great conversational piece. You could also stencil i'm not going to do it because some people just like it as is but you could stencil a number on it and it would look so french like so french it would stink they like stencil french. all their baskets french especially bread. their picnic <laughs> baskets with like their initials and stuff and they monogram i them. love these on the top of big armoires every armoire or hutch needs a basket on top of it it's just cute it's the rules all right um i'm gonna get a drink let's see <laughs> Any questions? Everybody's talking to Cooper and Odelia. They said, Cooper, are you ready for college? Um, Cooper is has put in his papers to serve a mission for our church. So he'll actually leave next fall and he'll be gone for two years doing that. And then he'll come back and go to college. He's actually already got like a bunch of college credits and stuff. So yeah. he's a very studious boy. Pretty great grades. We like it. We like us some Cooper. Um, all right, this was a dollar for these antique bulbs. This is a year-round purchase. If you see these, just snag them up. People love them. We love them. Um, eighteen ninety-five for these old pyramid. I would say they're vintage. Yes, but they have them. You can always tell they're oh, older. I, what? Sorry, Kaylin, can you change the listing? I said there were eighteen ornaments, and apparently I can't count. There's fifteen ornaments. Oh, there's five. Sorry. Proceed. Um. But you can always tell they're vintage or older because the the clasp that holds them to the tree or the hook on the tree is almost always metal. And nowadays they come plastic. And the balls are plastic. They're not glass anymore. Okay, this tote, Jamie saw it and she put it back. And then I saw it and I grabbed it. And I was like, do I want this? Do I not want this? And then Jamie saw it in my cart later. She's like, oh. What are you going to do with that? What's your plan? <laughs> I'm like, I'm going to paint it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to paint it. You know, I don't know why I would pass it up because it's got like a great flat surface. And it's we have tons so of greenery good. that I've thrifted in the shop. So we'll wind up staging it up with some greenery and it'll sell. Um, and once it's painted all up, it'll be $24.95. It's we, going to be really good stencil. It's craft supplies. Yeah. Like I love thrifting craft supplies. I will never get over the fact that I could pay 10 bucks for that at the craft store or I could pay two bucks for it at the thrift store and I'm always going to pick the thrift store. Also these plaques, I could make these, you know, have the CNC cut them out, but they're already made. They're three quarter inch, um, great shape. They were $1.50 each. Um, saves me a ton of labor just doing this. And I think it would be fun to do either some decoupage, um, make like a, or we might even just stencil them because I think they'd be good, like almost like a, what are those, the uh, the hot pads, but not. No, I don't think we're going to do that because if we say that, then we put this sealer on there and they put something and it melts. I wasn't going to seal it. I was going to leave it. I guess you couldn't wash it. Never mind. Scratch that idea. We're going to make some cool plaques out of them. If I do stencils, it would be like a raised stencil. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah. You know you so. love cute stuff. Um, who purchased this? Oh, I said it was pressed. Is that, it's got a little chip up here. But it's sharp. Um, it's not cut. It's pressed glass. It's pressed? Okay. Yeah. It's pressed. It's good, though. It's got a couple little imperfections, but I like... That's so pretty. I, it's not quite... It's not, like, super bright clear. It's got, like, a little tint to it. And just... It's a great picture. Like, I think you love juice pitchers because your mother bought frozen juice. And you always need a pitcher to put your orange juice in. Yeah. Your little Donald the Duck. The Donald Duck frozen the, juice. That's disgusting, by the way. Like, it's not good. 
It's my childhood right there. <laughs> I bought some Donald Duck not too long ago, you know, nostalgic, bring it back. I remember it too, because I had it as a kid. I got the Donald Duck orange juice and I made it all up and I took a drink and I was just like, oh, this is bad. So on that note, this was $3. <laughs> We're selling it for $18.95. It's like Kool-Aid, although maybe Kool-Aid tastes better. Man, Kool-Aid All right. Um, I'm just thinking. Okay, I'm going to scoot okay. some of this just stuff over sure because I need questions. to paint a frame and do because I told them I was going to. What? Yeah. What time is it? It's 9.16. I have, have to show them all the rest of the stuff. There's only like 10 more things in books. Those are your okay. books. All right. I'm going to rapid back. fire while Zeb paints. Oh, oh look who came home. Yes. No, I don't need any ice cream. You're gonna you're gonna do a caramel pecan dance. <laughs> Go upstairs. Sorry guys. Cooper and Odelia just came home. All right. Uh we're gonna show the things that we have left. So this is broken, but I actually have the exact same one. So I'm gonna sacrifice my lid and put it with this one so that way it's not broken. And then I'll just have Zeb epoxy this. I feel like it would probably stick with epoxy, but I don't want to ship goods. it out. I don't want to ship it out like that in case it doesn't hold up. So I will take the broken one and I have a not broken one up there and we're just going to swap them. So that way you get a lid that's not because it actually was fine when I bought it. And they have this the rule at home. DI that they have to pull the lid off to check in it. And the lady wasn't careful when she pulled in and took the rivet out. So. Well, that means it might not have lasted long when we sent it to you. So we don't want that either. Yeah, which is good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna replace the lid with my lid and I'll epoxy it and move on with my life for mine. It's gonna be $19.95 and we paid a dollar fifty for it. And I think it already sold. Okay. Um who is Cooper and Odelia? So Odelia is my oldest daughter. She's my second oldest child, and Cooper is her boyfriend. And they're around a lot. So a lot. they're also on our like ch live chat a lot. So that's why we talk to them. Everybody knows who they are. Jack, go upstairs. We have five kids. So there's Harrington, Odelia, Eliza, Radrick, Jack, and Cooper is Odelia's boyfriend. So now we got it all out. All right. These are going to be sold for $12.95 for a set of two. And I have them broken down on the website. So there's like a picture with a number one, picture two, picture three, picture four. So you just pick the number of the set that you want. These are Reader's Digest books and I love them because they have the most delicious designs and coloring on them. My favorite is of course the purple one. Look at that, so pretty. Um, and then here's another set. Hopefully Zeb kept them in order. If he didn't, just make sure you're looking at the picture. I didn't know there was an order. Oh, okay. But so the pairs see... may be different than I'm showing you, but they will be what is shown in the pictures. But look how cool those yeah, are. Yeah, we can... I paid $2 each, so it's 4 bucks for a set. And I'm going to sell them for $12.95 a set. Oh, no, I'm not pulling And I love out. having books all over the shop, and they sell fast, so I need to start buying more books. It's all foamed in, so I'm not going to pull this glass out but I am going to paint it. All right. Cake dome. This one has a hand blown knob on the top. We're calling it a cake dome cloche. Is it cake dome? Yeah. It was three bucks. So we're selling for $22.95. If it doesn't sell, we'll find a cool base and then we'll charge more for it with the base. But a lot of people are looking at it. It's nice, a heavy weight and it's a really great dome. Another thing that's $22.95 is this relish tray. It was $4. It is silver plate. Usually you just find this, which this actually has like a really cool embossed design in it. And I would buy this as is, but when you can find them with the relish tray liner, which is a nice heavyweight glass liner, even better. So $22.95 for this one. Next up, we have the elephant. Zeb's going to sand the tusks um, so they're not jagged. We'll give it a fresh paint job and it'll be $19.95. If you guys are new here, Zeb loves <laughs> loves to paint himself some wild animals, and we've sold, I don't even know. We've With had the exception of the giraffe. Or, which, the giraffe hasn't sold yet, but that's an expensive sale. Yeah, but is, we sell a lot of wild fancy. animals that paint them up really fun. Jamie got that just for me. She Okay, so really quick. This is tarnished pearl, and I'm just going to do, well, I need I need quite a bit of it, so I'm going to put it out here on the... That should be enough. And I'm gonna just do a tiny little drip of this aviary to just, you know, give it a little earthy tone. 
We've been loving the aviary. I put up just, a short it's yesterday. It's just going to give it like a little green hue. And I think the tarnished pearl, because it's got kind of like a grayish brown color to it. Um, it's like a good taupey cream. It'll it'll give it a good tint. And I think, oh, I like oh man, that. that is just what I wanted. It's like sagey. Yeah. Now this is pretty shiny, so I'm probably going to have to heat gun it and then come back around and do a second coat. Oh, you can tell Odelia and Cooper are home. We call them the giggle twins. Up there making all kinds of noise, laughing. We were we were laughing because Debbie and um, what is her niece's name? Why am I driving a bike? Ellie. Ellie are always giggling, and we're like, we should get Debbie and Ellie and Cooper and Odelia together, and they could just have a giggle fest. Yes. <laughs> they laugh all the time, nonstop. Okay. I had to move everything over here, so I don't have to get up and down so much. This book doesn't look super exciting, I got but it because, man, it's a great green. Making the gold. most of yourself. We did. We don't know that it actually. Um, I've not read it. Is helpful. This chapter I just opened up to right now says intelligent selfishness. There's an interesting word called selfishness that causes a great many problems in the world. It offers us lots of opportunities. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there's. Lots of interesting stuff in here to read. We just bought it because the color is really cool. Um, and we paid two bucks and it's $6.95. The green and gold's classic. If you buy this book and you do make the most of yourself and it's a beautiful color, then that's a win-win. Um, that basket is from Pier 1 and holds hanging flies. I don't know what that is. Okay. Can you move the clock as we can't see what Zeb is doing? I yes. moved it. Which I, I, this one was right in my oh, way. Oh, just show it to me. And I'll, just, I'll put it over here. We'll do it next. That I think one this needs one already sold. It needs some extensive hand repair. So Zeb's going to make sure all these hands are nice and straight, not bent. And we'll make sure it works. We're not painting it because we love it as is. It's got the world clock, Western Hemisphere on both sides, and it's $22.95. And I think this clock already sold. This um, is my favorite find of the week, actually. And these sold, too. And I was also going to say, if you have been sharing on Facebook, we just picked four people that have been sharing to send a little thank you gift to. And we posted that about an hour ago. So check that list out um, and email info at jamierayvintage.com if you're one of the people that got picked. So that way we can send you a thank you uh, letter and present in the mail. So. so I said in the description that these are cast iron. They are not. They are hand forged. And as far as I can tell, they're not what? molds they're because yeah. they're both different. They want Odelia and Cooper to say hi. You guys can come say hi. Come on, giggle twins. They both have glasses on. Oh, Cooper took his off. Your blue light glasses are missing. You'll have to come get in close or your head's going to get chopped off back oh, there, yeah. Cooper. Squat, Cooper, squat. <laughs> all right goodbye go back to playing harry potter in your sweatpants <laughs> okay so these we paid i don't remember how much did you pay for each of these we found these in two they separate $2 spots each. so we paid four bucks for the pair we found them in two separate spots of the thrift store happens a lot and they sold for 28.95 and forged hand forged amazing very um like gothic like if you have a kind of castle feel or even cabiny. I think they would work in a lot of scenarios. Very primitive. Yeah. Like, they're just cool. I like them. Um, next up, this is a cute little shelf. We paid five bucks for it. We're going to paint it up even cuter. It'll be $22.95, and I think this actually already sold. <laughs> and then Zeb bought these. They're like little, um, they've got a little Excited shelf on the top. Excited about those. Art. We're going to paint them and they will take out these hooks so the hooks don't get painted. And then we'll put some art in there and they hang on the wall and they can hold your keys. They were $3 each. And once they're painted with art, they'll be $19.95 each. So um, I just mixed up just enough for this little frame. I'm not going to really sweat if I've got a couple little streakies. I'm going to just try to get most of it because I am going to come back through and just do a light wet distress and bring some of that dark frame back through. I was trying not to touch the, the felt on the back, but I got it a little Sweet. Bit. Thank you, Caitlin, for editing my ornaments to say 15 ornaments. All right. This is awesome. It was $5. Originally, it was $39.95 from the store they bought it from. The sticker was on here. 
Um, and we're going to sell it for $39.95, but we're not going to leave it this brown sprayed computer generated paint finish. It'll get a new paint finish, usually two tone with a fun wax job, and it'll be $39.95 for this shelf. Then Zeb's got yet another clock. You know what? Pennsylvania house. I didn't Since we it added up, the clock. disclaimer, clocks are back because we stopped thrifting them for probably a month and a half, two months, because we'd had a few break. Mostly the small little mechanisms weren't getting handling being shipped very well. But now we're, we're double back. boxing them and clocks are back. So we paid $10 for this clock. It's going to be $69.95 once it's painted. This is made to go up on a wall. And then we've got two last items. I shouldn't lean over the table. Okay. And we've got a little teeny little mirror here. It was a dollar and it's going to be $14.95. We'll take the mirror out. We'll paint the frame cute and then we'll put the mirror back. And this is the saddest chicken tray that ever existed. <laughs> it was a dollar fifty. It's got some major um, damage here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this soak and I'll take all this image off. Then I'll paint the whole thing and then we'll put a new image and seal this tray up and it's going to be $39.95 or $29.95, sorry, once it's painted. So I was going to let this phew. and you're done. You made it. We're not even over time. So I did get some paint on the glass. The glass is actually foamed in with like a really sticky backer adhesive. I don't want to mess with that because it's in there really well. Um, but I'm going to, I was going to wet distress, but I think I'm just going to mm -hmm. clear wax it and see how much comes off with the brush because it's so fresh. It's such a sli uh, slimy, shiny finish that I think waxing it might have the same effect as wet distress. So we'll see. Callie said, Kimberly, they have sheep. So I, I think you said you were new here. So we actually have two sheep, 20 something chickens. How many chicks do we have? I counted the other day as like in between 25 or 28. They kept moving around. The chickens move a lot and we had a lot and some of them flown over the fence. Maybe the neighbors have them with it. 25-ish chickens um, and one milking cow named Buttercup and two rescue dogs, um, Rex and Cody. They are a golden doodle and a schnoodle. So we have a lot of pets. We have five children and my mom lives with us. But we actually keep our farm animals over at our church shop. We call it the church, but it's actually a shop that used to be a church that we renovated. We keep it over on that property because we have more land and our neighbors actually let us use their backyard for our milking cow. And so I got to spend all day money Monday cleaning up their <laughs> mess. They've been, it's been snowing. So I haven't like really been able to clean up after them very well because it's all frozen and goopy. Um, but hopefully we're supposed to get snow tonight, but I'm, I don't think it's going to do much. So I need to get over there. Monday is the day I have, whether it's goopy or not. And it's goopy and goopy remove quite a bit of it <laughs> yeah zeb's gonna do that and i'll get the uh thrifting video edited and up i don't know if you guys know this but i have been editing um a vast all of the thrifting videos and a vast majority of our not thrifting videos up on the youtube channel zeb used to do it but he has been busy doing other things and i have been doing it i'm not as good as zeb but i, think I your do the best fine. i can her videos are so good <laughs> and the I subject and matter is great phone. Yeah, I think they're fun. We did put up a video today. If you guys haven't seen it, Caitlin, if you would drop the link, that would be great because we just put up a video today where we show you how to decoupage. We talked about primer. We are mixing paint and we take you into the shop and so show you where we put the furniture and how we um, staged it and set it up. So I think it's kind of a fun video. You also get a sneak peek um, into our barn, which is where we went picking. And yeah. So that's what we did. So pro tip, there is paint on the back of this velvet. And what we do is we wipe it off as best we can. And then we touch it up with a black permanent marker. Done. So if you ever paint a frame, inevitably, if it has velvet on the back, you'll get a little bit. And you can't really paint velvet. So we just clean it up as well as we can with like a damp rag. And then we black sharpie it to make it look good. All right. Up on the landing are all of the prints I've been doing. Up on the landing are all of the prints. I could, oh, you want me to grab I could tell you Kaylin, were reading. No, and you Kaylin dropped hearing. the link to the Jamie and Zeb video, but I don't know if it, can you drop the link to the um, dresser video? I'm not sure if that's what she dropped or if it was to our homestead channel. So all those prints I've been printing off, you want to go pick one? Is that what you've been trying to tell me? Yeah. I can do that. <laughs> I, well, you were reading comments and it's distracting. I know it's easy to get lost in the comments over there. I start reading comments and like, that's all I do. I, I can't multitask. 
Amy is much better at the multitask than me. I mic'd up. I'm curious so to see what print she brings back. Um, I might hit this with some gold. We have a gold gilding wax called Golden Rule from DIY. Um, we sell that on the website too. All these products we've been using uh, and the thrift haul you can get there. Um, but I might, I might touch it up a little, depending on which print she brings. You have them in three different places. I have a bunch. I've been testing all kinds of different papers oh. and uh, ink settings and all sorts. It's probably why I'm out because I've been doing crazy amounts of prints. These are just some fun things. Some of these aren't going to make it to you. Some of them are. Um, this one is, this one's on the hit list. I have actually done this on canvas and it looks amazing. Um, what do you think in here? Oh, I did. I don't remember. I did the castle. Well, and don't worry. We will clean up the frame. Yeah. I'm going to clean the frame up in just a minute. I actually think you should have distressed it along the peaks. Yeah, I might, I might do a little more. Let it dry. Well, I was going to say, just let it dry completely and then. I can get it right here. I'll just rub hard. It's still damp from the wax. Okay. Jamie, it's one in a million. Oh, thanks. I don't think, I don't think the world's ready for two in a million of me. I bring a lot of energy. Um, can you fix the camera? Yeah. And I'll pick something. Yep. Yeah. I actually really love this one. Can we put this one in there? Yeah. I don't know what this is. Scenes of the North Branch of the Susquehanna. Yeah, it's like a bunch of... If you want to pull the glass out, I can clean it. So the glass doesn't come out. Oh. That's why I painted it in there like that. <laughs> okay. I was just trying to figure Which, out how we could... I'll get it clean right now. Well, no, I was just trying to figure out how we could know how big to cut this. Oh, right right here you go. It's a five by seven. Oh, that's what I wanted. The ducks are in the big farm in the sky. <laughs> yes, they are. Cooper said that. <laughs> we don't talk about the ducks. We had only three ducks that survived. They were all boys. They were all fighting. And we couldn't have just got rid of two and just kept one because one duck would get lonely. And boy ducks can't hang out with girl chickens. And so, yeah, they're actually just right over there. <laughs> all the, the farm facts. In the freezer. Okay, so this is just a... It's farm life around here. Straight edge razor here. Okay. I think... Let's see if there's any questions. We're good. All right. I think this is mostly centered. Does that look right to you? You have better eyes than I do as far as that's centered. It's good enough. So this is printed out on some really nice thick paper. Yeah, Cooper actually came and helped me with that Shh, task. We don't, we don't need to talk about that. Okay. I don't think these people, this is not the, this is not the uh, homesteading channel. All right. We people won't. came here for the junk. That's disinfectant <laughs> spray. We'll just say this, we're not vegetarian. Where's the foaming glass spray? All That's right. what I need. A little wax on here. Let's we'll see if this will get it off. That's empty. What? That Lysol. All right, so it might be a little smudgy tonight because I can't find the glass cleaner and I do have a little oh, bit of wax. the glass cleaner is um, on the glass. up in our bathroom. It's okay, I'm not gonna go right there. Adelia left it in there when she cleaned. That's her chores, clean bathrooms. We're a little over time, so I'm trying to hurry. Sorry. Caitlin, hall, if you need to go, I can monitor comments. The thrift hall was long over. tonight. We had so much stuff. So now I've cut this to fit. I know I waxed this, but what? there we go. There's a couple spots that I'm going to have to re-wax. While it's still fresh, I'm going to hit it. With oh, okay. It. She's trying to fix a shipping issue. We recently, we used to have free shipping... And we recently moved to tiered shipping and then we decreased the price of all the like IOD and milk paint and stuff that was free shipping before. And so we've been trying to adjust our shipping tiers and it's been a little interesting. So getting the flat rate right is so that people aren't getting charged too much or we're not still too covering little. shipping. So we're costs. trying to get it all 
evened out. All right, this is a little dirty. Like I said, I got to get some glass cleaner on. Les, here. you made it. Les, did you watch my video today? You got a shout out. Uh, Zeb's carrying the dresser into the church. I was like, Les, look, I painted the back. I actually quite often um, anymore will paint the backs because we have a bunch of furniture in the shop that's like not up against a wall. And so I never know exactly where it's going to be. And in somebody's home, it wouldn't be floating in their home. But in the shop, because some pieces are kind of floating and they don't like back up perfectly, I've been painting the back so it looks good. Anyways, I did it for you, Les. All right. Here we have it. Ta-da! We still have to clean the glass a little better, but... Yep. That's cute. There you go. There you can see it. I like it. Very vintagey, and if nobody buys it, it's gonna look cute in the shop. Very reflective. It's like a shadow box. I like it. I love it. All right, Caitlin fixed the shipping. We are done on the thrift haul. If you guys want to shop along, if you need the paint and products that we use, they're all at jamierayvintage.com. If you ever have questions, um, you can email info at jamierayvintage.com. Caitlin is our full time customer service manager extraordinaire, and she is super awesome at helping you out. Um, and if the, she's ever gone, then we have Ivy and she's amazing. So we'll take care of you either way. And we love spending Saturday night with you. So thanks for being here. We love you. And we will see you next week. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Have a great weekend. Also, paint a palooza. It's going to be a super real thing this week because we got to get it done because we're going out of town and we have a ton to paint. So if you want to see these items get made over, Tune in next week. Watch out for the text. If you're not signed up for text, you can be. And if you guys are in, like, sorry, I said I was going to leave, but if you guys are JRV subscribers on Facebook or channel members on YouTube, your extra video that you get for your um, subscription will be Tuesday at 10 a.m. and it will be painting junk. So when as well, whenever we have our channel member videos, we always start with our channel members and then whatever we don't get finished carries on over to Paint to Palooza. So we'll see you guys next week. All right, guys. Catch you later. Bye, guys. See you later.